Robbie Weeds here. Um, I made a video last year about Lacanium scale. I just wanted to show you a very heavy infestation. Um, take a look at this. You see all this uh, soft, this is Lacanium scale. You can see uh, the larger females, look at this. These are just past the crawler stage, the smaller ones, but uh, you know, you can see uh, all the scale, all the honeydew. There's ants all over this thing. It's completely covered. Um, the first thing, uh, see, there's even bees uh, going for the honeydew. Um, it's very sweet, and that's how you get, uh, look, there's, there's ants all over this thing. Uh, there's so much scale. It's producing so much honeydew. Um, the first treatment would be bifenthrin. You'd spray this with Talstar to kill all the crawlers and hopefully kill any eggs. And then you'd come back and uh, uh, I'd either uh, spray it with uh, a Safari or even uh, Merit you could uh, use to get some uh, uh, a systemic into the plant. Um, or even uh, since it's a soft scale, it's not um, armored, so you could spray a contact and even get look at look at all this. It goes all the way up that branch. I'm not sure how well you can see, but it goes way up there. This is a pretty severe infestation. I'm surprised that uh, the leaves aren't showing um, more. Uh, desiccation from uh these are chewing insects they take the water uh from the cambium and usually you see desiccation of the leaves uh they from lack of water um but like i said the first treatment would be bifenthrin you'd spray it and try to kill anything with contact you could i'd come back and um do a soil drench um and even uh and see if i could get a systemic into the plant um, and then even a oil to try to suffocate um, as much as I could. Um, it's just this is such a severe infestation. I'm really surprised. I hope you guys can see this. Um, the light's not great here. Uh, it's a real cloudy and rainy day, but um, there's just so much. Um, you can see the difference between uh, the male and female uh, scale. Um, you know, they're their honeydew gets confused with a uh, fungus very often and people don't understand that scale is actually an insect and not a fungus so they see the black uh, soot and frass from the scale and think that they have a really bad disease there's a magnolia just up the road here that uh, had scale for a couple years and it's finally clean but the the, the honeydew is still on it and uh, they think they have a fungus when the magnolia is very very uh, healthy it just the branch and trunk is covered in uh this black honeydew and uh that just takes time to to be cleaned off and uh you know there's just nothing to do other than uh just waiting it out um you know it's it's not doing anything other than attracting uh some ants and like i said bees so um yeah this is a pretty big uh infestation of uh, a soft scale lacanium as i said lacanium is identified by the big round um, uh, adults. Um, I believe they're female adults. Um, you can always check to see if a scale is from this year is if you squeeze it and uh, um, you know it explodes with a you know a juice or whatever's inside the insects. Um, if if it's dry, that means it's last year's scale. Um, this has been for at least a year, but there's a whole lot of new uh, new insects infesting so um this should be treated very quickly i would want to a lot of these uh are just past the crawler stage so i believe by by fenthrin would get really great control um hopefully you guys can see how bad that is but it's completely covered so uh very soon this plant's going to start starving for um nutrients and water and it's going to be uh, uh cosmetically affected as well as uh um affected in its health um so, uh, yeah, this, I would recommend treatment immediately. Um, this could spread to other stone fruit trees. Um, Lacania scale also gets on oaks, and uh, it could spread on any uh, fruit tree. Um, so this would need to be treated very, very quickly. So, like I said, this is Lacania scale. I have done a video before, but this is an infestation that I felt I, I just had to show again. Um, 
my treatment recommendation is, like I said, by Fenthrin, I'm going to come back with Safari. And then uh, sometime out from then, I'll do it with a summer oil this year. And then next year, it's very important that you do the dormant oil. And that's going to, uh, going into next year, you're going to try to get the dormant oil on the entire tree, every crevice and every crack, because that's where the eggs are going to be overwintering. And if you get dormant oil and smother those eggs, it's not going to start next year. And then you might still see the scale, but it's going to be last year dead scale. And hopefully the tree will be able to thrive because it's not fighting off all these, uh, all these insects trying to, uh, um, eat and chew through the bark and, uh, take up all of its, uh, its water and nutrients through the cambium. So, uh, that's my recommendation for the canium scale. Robbie weeds out.